All right, so we've got our asteroid set up. We've got our enemy set up. We've got the skybox. Let's go ahead and start picking our ship that we want to use for our player. So I'm going to get down to prefabs. Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, that's probably the models. Uh, I don't want the shuttle. I think I'm going to go with, I want something that has a cool spot to shoot from. Uh, the battleship uh, or the fighter? Hmm. To be honest, I kind of like the cruiser. I'm going to go with cruiser one. I'm sure eventually I'll go ahead and add them all into the game. I'm probably going to make a different game with them anyway. And just have different ships that have different abilities. Maybe one moves, handle has better handling. Maybe one has better armor. You know, you get the idea, right? So I'm going to go ahead, drag him in, drop him off at zero, zero, zero. Come on. Always keep in mind the scale of everything that you're doing. Let's also go into prefabs. We have to go grab our player, drag him in. And we'll put him at zero, zero, zero as well. So let's go ahead, we'll zoom, zoom in. Looks like we might have to make our uh, cruiser a little bit bigger. It's either that or we're gonna have to make everything else smaller. I'm gonna go with the making cruiser bigger part for now. The heavy cruiser, let's go ahead, we'll grab the mesh right here. And let's do a three to start off with. Uh, nothing else I want to change. Uh, let's go ahead and just move him over. And that's pretty close to the same size. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Yeah. Now this is probably going to be the trickiest one of all of them. So what I'm going to do is just open up player. First off, what scripts do we need? We need the explosion script. We need the shield script. We need a rigid body. Player input, player movement. So let's get to it, I guess. So scripts. Player input. Player movement. I'll get to the rigid body in a second. We need explosion and shield. There's a shield. And to be honest, I could just be copying, pasting it to new. So I could do it this way here, copy component. Go ahead, select this. Uh, select any of the cogs and do uh, paste component as new. And you get it that way and you get all the values. That's how I should have been doing it. But, eh, say la vie. Let's go ahead. Now I'm just gonna copy all the values. Uh, so 10, zero, one, two. 10, 0, 1, 2. I thought they'd be the same. Uh, movement, let me see. Again, I'm probably going to have to tweak around with these anyway. And I do need to go ahead and put thrusters on. That's fine. So we need a rigid body. And 50, 60. I just got a copy component. Paste the values in. And I'm actually going to go ahead and drag it above it. Or, no, sorry. Can't do that yet. That's one of the, the new versions coming up. But anyway, we can go ahead and move down just to get the same order. And we still need that rigid body, so I'll grab that now. I know I'm not using gravity, but again, a lot of the times I just copy the, the actual values themselves. And again, I should get used to that whole copy component. Oops, that's not what I wanted. All right, so I'll shrink them up as I get them. The rigid body's done. Explosion's done. Shield's done. Uh, we gotta do the lasers. So we'll go ahead, we'll copy those. And I'm just gonna be moving them over. I might not have three lasers on this, so I might only have two. But I'm actually just gonna move them over like we did with the last one. So paste this value. Get the lasers done. And we got this done as well. So let's go ahead. We got to move the thrusters and the lasers over and then go ahead and put colliders on it. So lasers, thrusters. I'm just going to go ahead, drag and drop underneath. Then zero out the position for the X. Then I'm still going to have to move them because they're not in the right spots where I want for here. 
Uh, same with the lasers. Uh, but as far as the player ship goes, I should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm just going to quickly hit start and stop just to get rid of all of the glowies or all of the trail renderers. All right, so where am I going to put the thrusters? Well, let's just open them up. Let's go ahead and start moving them. And I'm going to change the color. Now, there's a lot of spots we could put them here. I'm just going to go with these two back ones. Let's see. So right about here. Well, it's not centered. That's close enough. I'm going to go ahead, copy position. Go to the right one, paste it, and then just switch the X from a negative to a positive. And as long as your ship is symmetrical, that should be fine. So let's quickly start and stop again just to get rid of those trail renderers. And let's go ahead and change the color as well. I don't want it to be purple anymore. So open up colors. And this is actually the light, sorry. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change it to that light blue all right and i think i'm going to bring the range in a bit and move them out a bit up there great so let's go ahead and work on these lasers next i do have three lasers set up i think i'm just going to switch over to two i'm going to get rid of that middle laser and i'll just have two lasers that shoot out from hmm I kind of wanted to have them shoot from the front, but there is no real spot here on the front. I guess we could have them shoot from up here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and grab the left one. And I'm gonna leave it yellow. If you wanna go ahead and change it, we just changed the other one, so you should be able to do that, okay? Want it out a bit, not too much higher than it though. So about there, uh, I'll go ahead and keep it yellow. So I'm gonna go copy. Component, go to the right one, paste as value, switch the X from negative to positive, and that should be good. Let's go ahead, we'll reassign it to the prefabs for the player's ship, right there. Shrink it up, drop it right here. Replace anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead, just turn them off for now. Might need to come back. Now the droid works, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. We know that one's working. Uh, before I do anything, I wanna save. I, I changed enough things that I don't wanna come back and have to do it again. We'll hit play. And play's not working. What's going on here? All right, so apparently I accidentally deleted my event system. So how many people out there caught that? <laughs> anyway, just right click, go down to UI and click on event system. And I did notice one problem here is that uh, my new player prefab, uh, I did forget one thing. Oh, it's tagging this player. There we go. Let's go ahead, we'll hit start, hit play. Uh, we'll probably thin those up a bit and take down the glow a bit. And it looks like I gotta fix my, my lasers. So let's do that next. I'm just going to keep the player ship up here. I'm going to zero it out though. And we'll zoom in on it. Come on. There we go. So let's start off with the thrusters. I'm actually going to switch this to a capital T just to match everything else. Ah, there's my event system. I accidentally dragged it there. <laughs> All right, we'll get rid of it. All right, left. And right thrusters, uh, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna bring it to intensity down, maybe to 0.75. Again, all of this is just season to taste. Uh, let's put it down to one. Uh, we need the trail renderer. Uh, let me see, where's the size? Start width, end width. Uh, I'm gonna bring that down to a quarter, or sorry, a quarter of the total size, which is half of what it was before. And then we'll come up to lasers, which is under input. And I think I can just right click, right? Delete array element. There we go. We'll get rid of the one that was empty. Let's go ahead. We'll grab the player ship, reapply. 
turn them off. Just, uh, no, remember we had problems with that before where if we had one in there, it would find the right, it could still find something tagged as player, even if it was set not to show. And there we go. I might move the camera in a bit more and move it up. And I am shooting my lasers. All right. Wow, how come the bad guys aren't shooting me? Uh, let's keep moving around. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's just go ahead and follow one. They cannot find the player. Player ship. I'm tagged as player. And I don't have a collider on me yet. Aha. That's okay. This time I'm going to keep the collider on the part with the rigid body. I'm going to come over here. I may just put more than one collider on him. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We'll add a box collider. There we go. And it's the green part. So I'm going to shrink it down a bit. So we've got a little bit of work here to do. Uh, center's fine. Size on the X. Uh, I was thinking three different boxes here. One for the main body. Let me go ahead and turn off some of these gizmo things. Actually, let me just open it up. Take the thrusters and the lasers and we'll just take them off for now just so we can actually see the ship better. So we could do this in three box colliders. One for the main body, then one for the wings. Um, we could also just do a cross section for the wings. So we could do it in two. So let's go ahead and look at this first one first. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the player ship again. Uh, width looks really good. So we need it longer on the Z. Uh, a little bit more, I want the front in. Don't need that much in the back, so I'm actually going to move it forward a bit. Not that much. And shrink it down a bit. So I don't mind if it's sticking out a little bit. That's good. That's good enough. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add another one. Move, whoops. Move this one over. And this is what I was talking about with compound colliders. You can go ahead and put multiple ones on your ship. Um, actually, that first one, we could bring up the Y a bit as well. To just encompass the main body part. Well, wrong one. That might be too much, but I'm not going to sit here and fiddle around until I get it perfect. I'll leave that for you. I do want it a little bit bigger. All right, so let's go ahead and play around with this wing. I do want to shrink it down to the wing too. Bring it up a bit. I said a bit. So around there, uh, we're gonna bring it in on the X. And you know, honestly, that's good enough. I should bring it down, make it a little bit thicker. Again, I'm not gonna sit here and get all crazy specific on it. I'm gonna copy it, paste is new. Move the X to the negative. There we go. I've got one over there too. So compound colliders. This is how you do it. I wish you could name them. You can't. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead, reapply this. Oh, wait. Nope. Before we do that, make sure we turn on these uh, components again. Now let's apply. Let's get rid of it. Let's hit play. And hit our play button. There we go. So now if we hit stuff, I missed. Um, well, the enemies are shooting us now. Uh, did I just fly through that asteroid? There we go. I hit the asteroid that time. Remember, I put a capsule collider on it. Didn't quite like it. I just showed you how to do compound colliders. If you're unhappy with the colliders on your rocks, go ahead and fix it. But uh, that's it. There's a few more particle systems I would like to switch instead of having this little gassy kind of explosion. Go ahead and have maybe one that's more fire-based. Ooh, I went right through that. Uh, I think I'm going to have to fix the um, colliders. Man, this stuff killed me. Uh, I'm not taking damage. I just realized that. Let me sit here and take a look at it.
fly out a bit more. I am regenning. I'm not taking damage. What did I mess up this time? Open up the explosion script. Uh, rigid body. It finds it automatically, right? Uh, let me go ahead and delete this. Okay, it does not. So we do have to assign it. That's fine. We can literally just drag and drop it. There we go. And of course, reapply. This is why we copy the values. <laughs> we'll go ahead and play. And now when I hit crap, I should blow up. Or at least take damage. Oh, I did not take damage. We got sparks. I think I need to assign my shield UI. Duh. Let's just take a look here. Shields. There we go. Now I think I got everything assigned. Probably should set that up so in awake it actually goes ahead and looks for it. And did I actually do it before I went ahead and yeah, okay. There we go. Let's go run into something. There we go. We took a lot of damage and blew up. Don't hit asteroids. <laughs> there we go and again season to taste I don't like the camera back this far there we go and as I'm getting shot I am taking damage I'm just regening pretty good too all right this is probably the longest one we had to go ahead and get the player ready um, I think we're done everything now so the only thing we have left to do is to go ahead and put in some sort of scoring mechanism like I said I'm gonna have some sort of like magic object we either got to shoot or run through uh, to get points we'll keep going until uh, the, well we'll keep going till we we blow up <coughs> excuse me sorry we'll keep going till we blow up and then we'll play around with a little bit of sound and we will be done anyway as always I'll see you in the next video bye bye so if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>